Hi Virgo, this is Psychic Tracy Brown coming to you today to do your money scopes. Money scopes. Thank you for watching. What is around Virgo for the month of November, between now and the month of November? Please God talk to me. Talk to me about Virgos. Virgos, when I close my eyes, I got a clock. I got one of those round clocks with the feet at the bottom and at the top is the ringing bell. One of those uh, old type clocks, like it was round, has little feet and it has little bells and it dings. Um, so either timing is of the essence or you're running out of time. Timing is of the essence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Oh, you're running out of time. Do you know what that means, Scorpio? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Please email me uh, for your own personal reading at psychictracybrown at yahoo.com. Please subscribe and like. And please check out these videos for your sun, moon, and rising. Scorpios. Why do I keep saying Scorpios? I gotta figure out. I have to do Scorpio next. Virgos. What is around Virgo? Virgo, there's a fight going on or a conflict or something like that about your money. There is a fight, conflict. Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. There's a woman that is fire sign woman. I don't know if she's coming after your money or coming after your job, but she is determined to win. There's also a fire sign man that is doing the same thing. All right? Fire signs, Virgos, are not your friend for the month of November. They're coming for you, okay? They're coming for you. They're coming for your family money. There seems to be some sort of fight, some battle to win. Could be a legal battle. Could be about your job. Could be um, competition. Or it could also be like an idea and someone took the idea from you. And if someone takes the idea from you, it will be a fire sign, okay? I feel like this might be somebody that you know or a long-term friend, which is why I'm getting this conflict of fighting, Virgo. This is why I'm getting this conflict of fighting. Interesting. Um, I don't think you have the fight in you because I don't even think you know what the fight is. All right? I don't think you have the fight in you because I don't think you have any idea that there is a conflict, there is a battle, somebody's taking something from you. Somebody could be taking your job from you, your idea from you, your product from something of that effect. I don't think you know because I think this person has been for a very, very long time um, tricking you or making you believe something like, this is my best friend, however, I don't like him, but you don't know it. All right. There's something about you, Virgo, that is sustaining, sustaining this fire sign person. Unfortunately, Virgo, whatever this is, the fire sign person could win. And if this person wins, this is about your money, your sustainability, your home, your mortgage. So wake up, Virgo, wake up, Virgo, please. This is really, really important because it's not a little bit of money. It's a lot of money. And I really don't care if it's about your health. I don't, uh, not, not health. I don't care if it's about your home, your job, a product, a legal case. Someone is working against you, Virgo. So please, please pay attention. And it could have been going on for quite some time, like 18 months or so. There's an offer that's going to get made that's going to be partnered up with this fire sign person. It's a lose-lose. These cards are telling me to put the brakes on because there's something about what you're going through. It is a lose-lose. Now, I have to be honest with you, uh, Virgos. This doesn't seem like you. Virgos are much more calculating, much more smarter than this. I'm telling you, a pairing up with someone is a lose-lose. I'm serious. 
It's a lose-lose. Don't do it. Pairing up, partnering up, um, helping out, um, a business venture, trusting someone at your job who's a fire sign. It's a lose-lose. Make the sacrifice and switch gears at the last minute. Even if, you, even if it means you lose money, get rid of this person. And I'm dead serious. All right. Um, for any of you Virgos that uh, have a public project out there, you will uh, uh, charge ahead, forge ahead. You will be successful. Um, if there's anything for Virgos that surrounds family and public and needing to you know, forge ahead, please do it. All right. Um, any negotiations, uh, Virgo, uh, between now and November may not go well. And open your third eye, Virgo, because it's going to be really, really important to walk away. This is a walk away card. This is walk away with your tail between your legs. I don't even care if you lose money. I don't care if you lose money. What you're going to lose is less than what this person can take from you. And negotiations are not going to go well. There's a lot of pain coming. Um, if there's any trust in this fire sign person, and I'm going to stick to that. The only other way this person cannot be a fire sign person is if she is loud, obnoxious, obnoxious dressing. That's fire people, loud, obnoxious, okay? If it's not fire, but they act like fire, Aquarians act like fire, Libras act like fire. So, I'm, and I'm not calling out Aquarius and Libras, I'm just saying if the characteristic is similar to a fire sign person, do not, I mean do not invest, and I'm going to stick with that Virgo. All right, guys, <laughs> please like and subscribe. Uh, please comment. Please let me know anything that makes sense. Please call me for your own personal reading to elaborate more on what I'm talking about at Psychic Tracy, T R A C E Y Brown at yahoo.com. Please check out the video for your sun, moon, and rising. Bye, guys.